Hello everyone, it's Girl in Minecraft. Welcome to some more of my Create Seller Mod Pack playthrough. So, um, we have recently got brass, like a couple parts ago, I set it up, and so now the next step is to <laughs> back to square one. I was trying to make an alternator to generate FE to uh, power machines like this seed reprocessor so I can make mystical agriculture uh, farms and things. And I'll probably build like a really cool greenhouse or something maybe over here. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna need an alternator for that. And to make that, we're gonna need mechanical crafters. So, uh, for this one, it'll, it says you only need 12, so. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, yeah, I might make like a set of 20 or something. I don't know. <laughs> so maybe like 7 of these. So basically we're going to need brass casings, crafting tables, and electron tubes, which I was making a bunch of those uh, off camera. Basically I was making rose quartz, putting, uh, sanding it, putting it in the basin, and then it was coming into here, which there's still some stabili destabilized redstone. And, and then I put them onto iron plates. Oh, which by the way, thank you to the commenter that suggested to remove the depot because that was why they were not passing through. I don't need funnels, I just needed to remove my depot. <laughs> Uh, the person that said that was, uh, FLT, uh, Fathen. I don't know how to, how you say your name, but <laughs> yeah, you suggested to remove that and that's why, and that would prevent it from stopping once it got onto the depot. So, um, cause I was taking the, like, I was cr taking the build really literally. <laughs> Because basically Create was like, oh, put it onto a depot and it'll do the thing. And then I was like, why is it not passing by? But basically, like, I'll show you guys. Put the iron on, gets stamped into a plate, and then it continues on. So yeah, this is now automated again. <laughs> and then I can throw it on here. Gets turned into an electron tube. Uh, I could probably automate this too if I put an arm over here and maybe one that connects there. That's actually lined up really perfectly. So if I use, what are those things called? A deployer? Where, I don't know why I was going over there. It's not there anymore. Um, I have them in here. Deployers, these ones. Cause they, they put stuff down, oops. Can it pull from the chest? Yeah. Can we... Okay, you put a tool... Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Can you pull from a chest and like place an item? So it does, okay. So maybe it has to be attached, though. Interesting. I don't know how that'll work. Maybe the chest over here, and then you attach the chest or something? Huh. Um... That's the only one, yeah. Just want to have that pulled up so I can keep looking at the recipe. So that's something I'm going to look into later is like learning how those work with respect to like if I wanted to pull an item from this chest and deploy it onto here. I'm not sure how that would work exactly, so I'm going to have to do some uh do some educating myself on that subject for now though i'll just throw 
them on like that. And, uh, should be running out of that stuff pretty soon. Oh yeah, there we go. All out. So now we have 32 electron tubes, so that's gonna make me, uh, quite a bit, actually. Because this is three, makes three each. So now we need brass casings. Oh, so we're gonna have to learn deploying, well, I guess we won't have to, but might learn deploying. Okay, so this is taking, this is belting logs, like stripped logs. Can you strip a log? Oh, because it does the right click interaction, right? So I could do automated stripped logs using a deployer holding an axe. And then I could send those stripped logs to another deployer with brass ingots, uh, like filtering through. I assume you could just put it on a chest here and it will pull through. So with brass ingots, and then it'll turn those into brass casings. Okay, so actually this would be really useful to deploy, or to set this up, because I do a lot of casings, because I need them in like everything. So that'll be a really useful machine to set up. So maybe I'll do that next. I'll set up automatic casings. Um, we've got the brass here, so maybe, maybe I should set it up. Why is that windmill, like, spazzing out? What the heck? Both of them are doing that. That's so weird. What is going on? Everything seems to be moving. Okay, that is really weird. Yeah, I don't know why there's a spazzing out, but, uh, they are. Okay, let's... Let's set up the deployers over here. But let me check this guy really quick. Hello, uh, fungies. Okay, a lament sapling. A blue spruce. Oh, it's probably just the leaves. Old growth pine taiga. Interesting. Okay, um, I don't need anything from you, so you may leave. Goodbye. All right, so I'm going to need a couple of deployers. So I have one here that I got for free. Let me check what other machines I have in here. I think I don't have any more deployers, but let me see if there's anything else I need. Cause, so I now know that I don't technically need the depot. <laughs> because the conveyor belts work the same. Uh, so I'm going to need conveyor belts. I made an extra storage controller for uh, reasons. Oh yeah, for the storage links. And these are the packing tapes that I used to move my chests and stuff. Um, so, okay, the harvester will be for later when I do automated farm stuff and, uh, yeah, saws for tree chopping and all that. Okay, so I don't think I need anything else in here. Let me go and get... Let me see. Uh, I might have some belts and stuff in here already. Belts, I do. Okay, belts. So I need another deployer. I have it right here. Okay. So a smithing table. I need a zinc hand and a basic mechanism. That is zinc sheets and tough alloy. Do I have any zinc? I have a couple zinc sheets. I don't think I have um, any zinc in here. Okay, so just get that. I'm gonna need some of these. Actually, just take all of them. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take some of these, some of these, and what else? What else? Take some gearboxes. Just in case. Speaking of end case, some encased chain drives. We'll take some casings. Uh, okay, so now I need zinc. I know I have some. Let me just look at here really quick. For my zinc. Zinc, zinc, zinc. Here it is. Zinc ingots. Alright, so we're gonna need 
bunch of zinc plates. Let me just have a sleep. Okay. I wish I had the, uh, what is it? There's like a doors mod or something. Anyway, there's a mod that has like a bunch of really cool door stuff. Um, and there's like a door sensor you can get. Basically senses when there's like a player passing underneath. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I wish I had that, but I might have to just use like pressure plates or something. Back to the OG. So I didn't need, I didn't actually need that many. So let's see here. It's like four. Yeah, I only need four. So I'll put this here. All right, so this should make a hand. And then I need a mechanism, which I have a bunch. So then we'll go over here to the smithing table and maybe another deployer. Okay. And what else? So let's see. Belts, shafts, I need to power them, deployers, a chest maybe? Let's see, do I have an extra chest in here? Alright, so we get a chest. We're gonna need... We're actually gonna need a few chests and then... Um... Okay, I'm gonna need an axe. I can make like a diamond axe, I guess, so it'll last. Do I have one already? Oh yeah, I've got I've got some already, so make sure it doesn't have anything weird on it. This one has life mending. Okay, yeah, these are fine. Oh, wood, obviously. Uh, I'll take a bunch of this, take a bunch of this fur, I guess. Okay, what else? Um, this puppy. Yeah, let's just start with this. So... Figure out where my origin of power is, because, sir, you can't go in here. Okay, it's because I have... Probably going to use one of those down here, because these ones are moving a bit faster. Oh, I think I, I, think I just messed that up. Did I mess it up? I did. It's not moving anymore. Poop. Okay. <laughs> I broke it. Let me just see what I did here. I think this is supposed to be moving. Uh... You. Okay, does that fix it? Everything appears to be moving correctly. Okay, it was just an encased cogwheel, I think. So, let me just put that back. And I can probably encase it again, though. Excuse you, jeez, getting in my way. There we go, yeah, that looks better. Okay, um, let's get some of these. some of these. It's running a little bit faster. There we go. Okay. So. Let me think here. So, okay. I gotta figure out how this deployer works. So, let's see. Deploying. 
one of these had like okay okay it's side operated that's why okay All right um there we go that's how it works and maybe you can input on the bottom or something with item to set. Oh, I see. That's the filter. Okay. That's what that is. So can I like place it facing down? Oh, well, that's upside down now. So do I have... Okay, I'm gonna do something real quick. I need this cog wheel. That way, that way I can put a belt here. Do you guys just screw off? Jeez. You're very in the way. I'm gonna have to... You're causing a disturbance. Come near me again and I'll remove the rest of you. Okay, and now I need to replace this. There we go. So, um, if I place down, I need a funnel, I think, too. Oh, you know what? I don't need to, yeah, I can just do one long conveyor belt, right? Okay, we'll just do a really long one to start with. Uh, maybe I'll even make this slightly longer. Okay, so then if I do like that, is that gonna work? Perfect, okay. And then let's grab some funnels. Do I have any crafted already? Might have to craft some, so let's see. Brass funnels or tough funnels? <laughs> oh, definitely tough because I don't want to make any of these. Yeah, these are going to be... I'm going to have to learn a lot more deploy deployer stuff for this. Uh, okay, so basic mechanism and cured rubber. We've got some here. Got some of those. Just make a few of those. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I got chests already, so... It's not really where I wanted that. Okay. So if I give you an axe... Give you an axe. Okay, you have an axe now. So now, if I were to take these, okay, you don't strip them. Interesting, interesting. Um, I uh, did a little AFKing research and I found out I'm doing it all wrong. It has nothing to do with the. Hey, no, give me that back. <laughs> give me my pickaxe back. It has nothing to do with the deployer. So wrong anyways i need saws apparently i need a mechanical saw so let me go get myself some freaking mechanical saws but first uh i guess i'll sleep because it's nighttime don't you just love the sky at night it's so beautiful so yeah basically you put logs into a mechanical saw oh jeez put logs into a mechanical saw it strips them and then if you put a stripped log into a mechanical saw it'll make planks 
So, uh, I don't have any in here. I might, I might have one in here. If not, then I'll just craft them. But, uh, curious if I have, yeah, I do have some. I thought I did. Okay. So. Perfect, perfect. Let's get these over here. Are you still here? Hi, bro, but I need you to, like, not. There we go. He was just in the way, okay? It had to be done. So basically, I just need to power a bunch of mechanical saws. So, it shouldn't be too bad. I can probably put chain drives down for this. First, let me do... There you are. So I just need one, because I'm just trying to strip them, and then, once they're stripped, they can come through and, yeah, 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 they'll get deploy, I'll deploy the, uh, yeah, 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 okay. I think I know what, I, I think I've got this. I think I can. So I'll put a deployer, like, right here, or something. First, though, I need to... Okay, now that works. That works perfect. Okay. So then brass in a chest up here, right? Oops. Does it matter what side it's on? Asking nobody because I'm alone. Uh, okay, now it's on the wrong side. Hi, how, why? I did it place correctly before and now it doesn't. Now it's placing above. Why are you annoying? Ah, okay. Okay, now it's placing correctly. There we go. Okay, so theoretically this will work. Um, gonna need to remove this piece. And then put in some chain drives, right? Right? Oh, is this too big? Shoot. Okay, um, well, this kind of screws it up a little bit. Uh, what did I just do? There we go. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, let's put... Can I do a big boy here? Okay, that's not working. Oh wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Uh... I have an idea. Okay, hold on. Let me just do this really quick. And then we do another shaft. Okay, so this will belt. Bam. Bam, bam. All going the correct direction. This is going the correct direction. Okay, so now... Should get a... I should get a stripped log if I put one in here, right? What is that? Ow. What is that and why does it why is it not coming off the machine? Screw breach cast mold, what? What the heck even is this? Cannons? <laughs> no. No. Oh my gosh, okay. Please, somebody. Mechanical saw, right? Stripped fur. So why...
Oh, oh, okay, I see why. I need to filter it. Okay. Why is it going the other direction now? What the heck? Oh no, okay. So this needs to go the other direction to go this way. That's breaking my brain, but uh we'll do it. Okay. We'll do we'll just it's fine. It's fine. I understand the error of my ways. So this needs to go the other direction apparently. I hate it. <laughs> Why is it reversed? Okay, this goes the other direction, so this should theoretically will be the correct direction. Oh jeez, double placing. There we go. So that should be the right direction, right? Right? Okay, but I need to filter it, duh. Perfect. Okay, now we got it. Now I just need to deploy brass to get to get the items I'm looking for. So, all right, we got a chest there. Um, so I'm not sure how this part works, but I think putting a chest on here and then putting something in that chest. It'll deploy that item, right? So if I put brass in here, then, okay, so then, but wait, I need, I need to set up the power for this first. So, oh, and a funnel, I guess, uh, funnel. There we go. Okay, that might be a little short. I probably should have made it a little bit longer. But let me just try and test this. So I just need power to this. So a shaft. Case chains would be cool, but I'm not sure that's gonna work for me. Um, okay, no. No, let me just do that, that, that. I think it matters what direction it's going, so... Okay. Let's try this now. This might work. It works in my head, so maybe. Okay. So it's not pulling brass. How do I get it to pull brass? Okay, so as you can see, I got a achievement for it too. I figured it out. Uh, I did actually watch a video on how to get these to work, but I pretty much just placed a chute and I don't know if it mattered, but if it was a chest or not, but I put a barrel with some andesite. Oh, looks like I already ran out. Oh, I just ran out of these. Hold on. Just gotta put a Oops, I'm just gonna put a bunch. Are they all in the chute or something? Oh, I see, they're in the deployer now. I also filtered it, I don't know if it mattered. I filtered it with uh, brass ingots, but yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we did it finally, it took me 300 years, but I figured out how to get automatic brass casings. So we are in business. I'm Pretty happy. Now I just need to do an andesite one, and uh, I'll be set. Die. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for joining me. I just need to put more brass in here, right, which actually might be my next thing to filter brass through there, or to belt, I guess, belt brass around to this barrel. Uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll do some more uh, builds like this. Bye.